No, if anything, it got more complicated. Well, I'm not done yet either. Can't rush these things. Got, gotta take your time and think it through. How's the work going? A lot of weird stuff in this code, but it's nothing I can't handle. The bigger problem is going to be deploying the patch. I don't know if I can do it without a specialized tool. Alright, well, well, let's, let's stay on topic for a moment here. What specialized tool do you need? Something called a data shunt. I don't know what that means. It's for uploading software data- uh, for uploading software to a protected drive. Not something you can buy off the shelf. Okay. This patch has to hook into dozens of core systems to override Scout's decision making. What do you mean? It'll completely disable your offensive systems. You won't be able to use them even if you want to. Okay, you just said that earlier. want to change the way he thinks? It'll take away his ability to hurt people. What's the problem? That's your decision. If we take that away from you, if we force you to never hurt anyone, does it mean anyth anything anymore? Okay. Did you know anyone at SSI called Hyde Muscle Man? Yeah, he worked in defensive systems research. Some ex-military beefcake with more muscle than sense. That sounds like Hyde. Do you know his, uh, Do you know what happened to him? After SSI shut down? The head of defensive systems started his own company. I think Hyde went with, with him. Any idea which company? It was a long time ago. Had a name like... Leth lethal? Lath? Leth? Interesting. Okay, so there is some connection with SSI and Leaf, aka the company that Ryan seduced to kill Blade. Man, all these, all four of these cases seem to make a connection with each other. Are you sure Hyde went to work at Leaf Security? Yeah, he was sick of working in a research lab anyway. The only time I ever saw him smile was when they were doing weapon tests. We've met the CEO of Leaf. His company is connected to three different murder cases. Wait, you met Jack? Did he see Scout? He was very interested in me. He often... He even offered to repair me after I was damaged. Oh no, if he knows you're still working... Do you think he might do something? Try to snatch Scout or something? I don't know, but you better watch your back out there. What? Okay, can I show you the, the footage right here? No? Okay. So, what? Do I go back to the LAPD? I spoke to Jenna about Hyde. He did work at SSI in their defense di uh, division. And his boss was Jack Larson. When the scout project went bad, SSI was shut down. J uh, Jack founded Leith and Hyde went with them. Let me get this straight. Hyde works for Jack, so uh, but so did Lori? If this is how they handle disputes at Leith, I hope they have a good em employee health plan. Uh, Lori contacted us because she wanted to give information on Frank Pritchard. That has to be why she was killed. He may be the common link between these deaths, but we still have no evidence against Jack himself. Then we need to find that evidence, right, Detective? Right. Jack Larson has always been one step ahead of us, but not this time. We need to get inside the Leith offices. I agree, how long will it take to get a search warrant? That's going to be tricky. I'm not exactly on the best terms with my captain right now. Oh, okay, I figured that's to be expected. Well, with the whole going undercover without telling anyone thing, he's never going to play ball. It's a private security uh, company, Honor. You can't just walk in through the front door.
I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. We can get in and out, no problem. Do you have any better ideas? Maybe being a cat burger, a burglar is my real calling? No, stupid. And also, this is also stupid right here. All right, how about this? The longer we wait, the more time Jack and Hyde have, have to destroy evidence. I'm not going to give you permission to break into a private office. But if someone did break in and evidence happened to fall into police hands? Wait, where's he going? Really? Oh man. Okay, any more? What should we be looking for in the Leith offices, hypothetically speaking? Anything that might tie in this case to Jack Larson. Lori worked there, right? She might have left something behind. Just try not to trip any alarms. If you get caught, on your, uh, uh, you're on your own. I can't bail you out. Alright. Figures. Well, dang, man. This is crazy stuff. Alright. Into Elite Security. Wow, look at this place. This place is suspiciously quiet. Hacking their security system is some of my best work. I thought you were just disabling the security alarms. How did you get everyone to leave? While I had access to their network, I sent an urgent message to everyone in the company. They think they think the building is being fumigated for killer bees. <laughs> Sting operation. Oh boy. I can't believe, like, this is the longest level right now. I mean, is that to be expected? Because all the other levels have been around the same way. But wow, this has got to be, like, the longest thing I've ever. I've, like, well, I mean, I don't know. Is, like I said, is that to be expected just because it's the last case to go through in this game? Alright, so that's what I got so far. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and fill these in right here with three. Okay, here's a one. Uh, one and one. Alright, we're done with this row already. Nice. Wait, is this a free row? Over here? Oh my god, it is. Alright, so this column is done. Okay, fill that part in. And uh, put an X right there. Alright, so that's a three. This is a two right here. So here's a three over here. This is a five and a three, which means that this is done. This is that whole that row is done. Okay, so this is a five over here. Okay. Wait the two twos right there. Here's a one. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's two. Two is somewhere around there. This is a two. Don't know which two though. Cross that out, and that's then that three is completed. That makes this completed right here, and that makes it so done. And the nine right here is done. And so it's this over here, and the five is done. This is done. Uh, so is this. Um, this column right here is good. Very nice. Alright, we are done with that. Alright, what is this? A locker! Alright, are we going to somebody's locker? Well, we don't know the code to their locker. This locker is labeled Lori Becker. Now we might finally find, find out why she wanted to talk to Cross. How do we open Lori's locker without the code? Exactly. Wait, what? Oh! No, no? Oh, okay. The bracelet? 
Lori's bracelet holds the code. Remember the engraving? For answers held on the day you fell. Wait, is that really the code to the to the locker? Do lockers have that kind of password? No way! This cannot be coincidence right here. 0614, June 14th? No way. That cannot be coincidentally the code. Wait, are you serious? Are you serious? That actually worked? Oh my god, no way. There's no way that when you're guessing somebody's password, you, there's no way you could ever guess coincidence like that. Hey guys, I found a free column right here. Alright. I got something to work with now. Alright, and this is a four. And that's a three. There's a five, which makes this a nine. They count these squares here to make sure that I got a nine. Hey, yeah, we did. Alright, so this is a two right there. A seven. Five, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that makes this, this row eight completed right there. Um, this is a three right here, somewhere around that. This is a six. Okay, we got a two. Well, this two is. We know that that's a two now. All right. Uh, we. I know that that's a that these last two is one and two right there. So this is a two right here. I'm kind of hoping that, that that this puzzle is actually correct because I'm, I'm making I'm making some num a number of guesses based on what I know from my free row that, from my free column that I got. But right now it looks like I'm working backwards at the moment. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, so that means this cannot be okay. Here, okay, we got a four over here. All right, so that column is completed. Uh, the four is right here. This is a five. I'm gonna guess that that's a th that a three is somewhere around there. Okay, can I take a guess and say that this that these that these three on on this half is a one is a two one and a three, which makes this a five over here. And I can fill this part in. Okay, that makes that completed. Okay, okay, this row's done. So that makes this a four. And that's a five, that's a six. This is a three. There's a four. And that's a one. And this row's done. Wait, this is a two right here. Okay, so that's done right there. Done. After that. Alright, one more. This one. Wait, there's still more? Uh, oh, oh, right here. Huh? Wait, oh, 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 right here. Okay. Okay, what is this? Compact disc. Alright. Compact disc. Backup. This is where I ask if you have a CD drive, and you'll say, I'll add it to this list, right? I didn't take a CD drive until I took one from that laptop you, uh, Ryan gave you. Okay. <laughs> what do you know? Ryan is good for something. Okay. Can't you read any faster? It's only a single speed drive. <laughs> Ryan is officially good for nothing. Uh, Frank Pritchell's personnel record.
It holds information on every job Frank was given by Leith. And his last assignment before he died was... To intimidate Blake Patterson. Figures. Jack Larson signed off on it himself, and if Jack lied about that, perhaps he also lied about how Frank died. Cross was right. Frank Pritchell didn't commit suicide. He, he messed up on a, on a job. He messed up so badly that Jack had, to kill, had him killed to cover it up. What? Not so fat. Oh god, we're busted. That's Captain Muscle Man to you. Have some respect. Murders don't deserve respect. You've been busy, just like Lori, and look what happened to her. Now give me that CD. Frank's dead, and he'll stay that way. You won't get away with this. You've killed too many people. Detective Cross will. Cross will do nothing, not enough evidence, not without that CD anyway. And why should he give it to you? You're not leaving this room alive either way. Hand over the CD and I'll make it quick. Oh god. Oh god, what's happening to us? Do you really want to have to tell him you killed Scout? He won't care, Scout's just another loose end. You're wrong. Jack wants Scout for something. Destroying him would be a big mistake. And you know what Jack does to people who make mistakes? I'm not gonna end up like Frank. Jack needs me. You can keep telling yourself that, but you're expand you're expendable to him, just like everyone else. I gotta call Jack. Did he lock the door? Oh my god. And no cross with us? Oh, jeez. Crazy. Okay, so I, it looked like I, I, I tried to go that way. Wait, there's something over here? Wait, where? Oh, right here. On the wall. Okay, here's a 13 right here, which is an excellent start. Yeah, having these, like, big numbers are, are usually pretty helpful. Four, three, three. Oops. Okay. Um, one, 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 three. Okay. So that's a uh, seven. Well, seven's around there. Uh, here's a two and a one. And so it's this one right here, two and a one. Uh, which makes this one a 3, so that row is already done. So that's a 2 right here, and this is a 13. Uh, that's, that's gone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, I can fill that part in as well. Okay, fill that part in. Because uh, I know that one's a 7. Well, there's a 7 somewhere around there. Wait, is this a free row? Or a free column that I didn't realize? Oh my god, it was. Wow, wow, I'm bad. Got seven there. That's one, one. I gotta cross this one out. So I guess it's a, this is a one right here, because the game's telling me that that's a one. Or that's a, uh, like a second and third one. Uh, but that's what we're getting to us, so I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so here's, here's another one right there. Okay, here's a three. That's a two, here's a one. And this is what I have so far right now. So that column is done. That's done. This completes that right there. Okay, so put an X right there. I guess it's a five and a one right here. Okay, so that's opening more things for me to cross out. Okay, fill that part in right there. Okay, that's done. Seven is completed right there. Nice. Went 
one in, one one, there we go. Okay, that's done, that's done. Throw that in, and one more over here. Alright! Alright, what is this? A U UPS. Okay, so the post office is something from the post office, I guess? What is this? Why is this so heavy? Oh, okay, no, never mind. That's not even that's not even like a UPS order or anything like that. So I mean it's that, that that's what I think of whenever I see UPS. Uninterruptible power supply. It provides emergency power in the event of electrical failure. So it's a really big battery. I bet it could deliver a pretty big shock if we could discharge it. In theory, but how would we do that? Alright. Um, more things. Somewhere over here. Here's another puzzle that also took quite a while. For me to do. These puzzles get really hard in this, in this act as I went through this. Um, but um, this one in particular took me quite a while for me to find a way to start off. Um, so I kind of just, so after a while, I did not find anything that indicates any free rows or free columns. So I just kind of looked at some of the bigger rows that have large numbers and just kind of looked at what uh, squares are guaranteed, like could be guaranteed to be filled in, uh, or just squares that um, have a pretty likely chance of being uh, filled in as well. So um, that's what I went off by. Uh, so I started out with that bottom part over there, uh, on the very bottom row, with the five and four. And we managed to complete that. And um, then I kind of worked my way around uh, around that. And as you can see now, we are making some progress. Potential progress, pretty much. I actually did struggle quite a bit with this puzzle. Um, so you probably are noticing it now. But um, there are certainly a lot of parts that I cut out. Just because there were so many instances where I had to constantly think, pretty much, and it would be kind of boring if I just let you guys see that I'm doing basically nothing. Just to kind of think about what my next move is going to be. Yeah, so as you can see, I, um, now we have a lot more X's. I managed to fill out the 8 over there on the 4th to last column. And then we are pretty much almost done. Well, not almost done. There's, we're, we're halfway there. But um, what I notice <laughs> with myself with blind playthroughs is that when I'm actually editing these videos, and that um, I am rewatching myself play through this, I think to myself that's actually pretty easy, and that I made it look really hard in the live recording session. And then when I actually go back to watch myself go through this, I am just screaming at myself. Yeah, I look, like look at this right here. Look at these mistakes that uh, I made when I checked for the errors there. But yeah, I'm like constantly thinking to myself, man, this is so easy. And then I'm just screaming at myself, just, man, do this, do this, do this. And then I didn't do it on the live recording. And then I see myself and I'm just like, ah, oh, oh my god. But, um,. That's the <laughs> that's the fun part about blind LP. You kind of it's a learning experience for the most part. You shouldn't be ashamed of what you did the first time versus what you do the second time, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, so the puzzle is almost over. So in just a moment, I will be going back to live commentary. Okay, let's see what we got here. Cables! Alright, well what are we gonna do about cables here? Alright, gotta got rank up. Power cables, you want me to try and tie hide up? 
Is that not an option? He's twice my size. You might as well ask me to try and knock him out. That's not an unreasonable. That's not as unreasonable as it seems. There, these are power cables. We find a way to deliver a high voltage shock. If I connect these power cables to the UPS, it could deliver a shock powerful to inc incapacitate Hyde. But we don't know how much power is stored in the battery. Only one way to find out. Try and distract him with what? Bad news. Where's the girl? She'd be more concerned about me. You don't make me laugh. I won't let you hurt my friends. Listen up, you dumb robot. You don't want to play games with me. I'm not playing games. What? What did Scout do? Wait, what is this? Assault mode engage threat detected? What, what 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 is Scout doing? Your ship has sailed, Captain. Target loss. Seeking new target. Oh god. No! I was trying to distract him and something took over. Yes, I think so. Okay, where's his... God, where's his body at then? Okay, um... This is what I got right now. And this is a 9? Yeah, that's a 9. Okay, that's a 5. And here's a 2. Okay, so that call of 2 is done. Okay, this row is also done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, fill that part in. One, two, three, four, five. That's a one right here. Okay. Um, that part in. Looks like we're summing up these rows here. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. That's three. This one. Yeah! Okay. Security pass. Okay, so this is what uh, Hyde uses to uh, bypass the security, I suppose? I know Hyde used to work there, but Jenna said that the labs were shut down. Yes, after my project was cancelled. In that case, why has he still got an access card? I doubt it's for sentimental reasons. Someone has reopened the lab? Really? How? But for what reason? Okay, I'm gonna fill these in. Fill that part in right there. Seven. Okay. Three, four, five, six. Ah, huh, okay. Four, five, six. And this is a two and a five over here. And here's a six over here. One. Alright. Fill that part in right there. This is crossed out. And there we go. So it's that. Fill all those, all that stuff in right there. Alright, so that's one. So 
see what you want to hear. Three, four, five, six, seven. Um, that's done. This, and this. Okay. A pager? Oh man, this place has some really weird things that I, I don't understand. This must be how Hyde kept in touch with Jack. There's one message received from yesterday accessing LB got a copy Okay, so that stands for Lori Becker got a copy of Pritchell's fi file. Assign her to the Kino job. Deal with her. Hi, killed Lori to stop her from ha uh, handing Frank's file over to the police. That's crazy. First he knocked out Mal and took over as captain. Then he cornered Lori to, uh, away from the party and shot her. But the lifeboat release mechanism jammed. He lost his escape route and the body was discovered. Every second he stayed aboard, he risked being discovered. No wonder he wanted to get get away so badly. He left after we docked and killed the only man who could identify him, I, Captain Cruz. <laughs> Because it's hard evidence that Frank was working with for, was working for Leith when he killed Blake. This could bring down Leith's, Leith's security and Jack Larson along with it. I think we both know what we have to do now. Huh, no. I bet that lab is full of evidence just waiting to be found. Even if that's true, we don't know where the lab is. Maybe not, but we know someone who does. Wait, we're gonna go all the way over there? Good timing, I'm nearly done with the patch. No idea how I'll install it without the right equipment, though. The data shunt? You said you created it at, uh, at SSI, right? Maybe there's still one, or maybe there's still one in the lab. Not a chance. The lab was closed when SSI shut down. There's nothing left. I don't think that's strictly true. What are you talking about? We had a run-in with Hyde. He was carrying an SSI access card. It seems that the lab that the lab is operational again. Jack, what the heck is he doing? That's what we're hoping to find out. And we might be able to get your data shunt at the same time. But we need you to tell us where the lab is. I'll do better than that. I'll show you myself. Come on, let's go. Great! I just need to tell Det Detective Cross that he can meet us there and... No, no cops. What? Why no cops? I thought this was all over a long time ago. I'm not ready to go public. Not now. No, I need time. Can one of you find my toolbox? I put it around here somewhere. I'm not sure I can go. Jenna still has to finish the software patch. You saw what happened to me with Hyde. What if I'm not ready? I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to hurt you. You're not going to hurt me. Jack might have tried to turn you into a weapon, but you're, you're the one in, in control. But that's it. I didn't feel in control. All I felt was danger. It was like all my circuits were on fire. There's one thing I've learned this summer, it's that sometimes you've got to take control. You're stronger than you think, and I'll be right there with you. Alright, uh, wait, there's something to investigate here? Alright, well, I'll look at what there is to investigate here next time. So, thank you so much for watching this episode of Murder by Numbers, and next time, we are going to find Jenna's toolbox and then go to the SSI lab. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.